Hi friends, in this series of ECG basics, today I will talk about Q wave. First is the disclaimer. Caring Docs YouTube channel does not provide medical advice. Information available on this channel does not offer diagnosis or advice regarding the treatment. Information provided by this channel is for educational purpose only. It should not be used as an alternative to healthcare professionals diagnosis or treatment of any person or animal. Please seek the help of medical expert for diagnosis, prevention and treatment of medical illnesses. There is no endorsement for any brand or a company. Q wave is any negative deflection that precedes an R wave. It represents the normal left to right depolarization of the interventricular septum. Small septal Q waves are typically seen in left sided leads that is lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6. Small Q waves are normal in most leads. Deeper Q waves that is more than 2 mm may be seen in lead 3 and AVR as normal variant. Means lead 3 and AVR may have deeper Q wave more than 2 mm. Under normal circumstances Q waves they are not seen in the right sided leads that is the pericardial leads V1 to V3. Pathological Q waves, Q waves, Q waves are considered pathological if they are more than 40 millisecond wide or more than 1 millimeter or more than 1 small square wide, more than 2 millimeter deep or more than 25 percent of the depth of the QRS complexes and especially when they are seen in V1 to V3. Patholo pathological Q waves usually indicate current or prior myocardial infarction. Differential diagnosis of pathological Q waves are myocardial infarction, cardiomyopathy, especially the hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, infiltrative myocardial disease, rotation of the heart that is extreme clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, lead placement errors, for example, upper limb leads, they are placed on the lower limbs. Small wave, small septal Q waves may be absent in lead V5, V6 and when they are absent they should be considered abnormal. Absent Q waves in V5, V6 is almost due to left bundle branch block. Here we can see the inferior Q waves that is Q waves in the lead 2, 3 and AVF with the ST elevation due to acute MI. In this ECG we again see Q waves in the lead 2, 3 AVF with T wave inversions due to previous MI. This ECG shows lateral Q waves means Q waves in lead 1 and AVL with the ST elevation due to acute MI. Here again we can see Q waves in V1 to V4 with the ST elevation due to acute MI. Again Q waves in chest leads V1 to V4 with T wave inversion due to recent MI. Albert Einstein has said, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. With this, I conclude my today's topic. Thank you. Keep learning.